tell me who are you? What's your name? Yeah, my name is uh, Abdul Aziz, and I'm um, studying integrated water resource management at uh, Swedish University of Agricultural Science, SLU. So, what do you do here for World War Week? Well, I am doing rapporteur, and that's uh, we are like four people in group responsible for uh, reporting about the water or uh, yeah water across borders and we have two lead rapporteurs and it has been very interesting sessions and we are happy from that so how's the week been so far well it's quite interesting because uh, we met a lot of people from different backgrounds. They are representing different organizations, and also they are talking about uh, different issues on something very important. That is water, and nobody can live without water. So it's very interesting. Have you been here before? Yeah, I was there last year, and I can really see the difference actually because every time there are more people are coming, and which means that really people they are more concerned now about water issues and also that's also one way that you can really conclude that this uh, water week is very successful actually and I have to congratulate Siri for that because their contribution is enormous because most of the people coming from countries that they have water scarcity and Sweden has plenty of water but they are very involved, very concerned about other water problem. Every year, Water Week, and <coughs> sorry, and also they are uh, providing training for people from developing countries in integrated water resource management. So it's fascinating. So, what's the most important you will bring from this week to what you do in your regular work? Well, the message is very clear actually. Water, that's our blood, that's our life. And we have to take care. It's not anymore something that easy you can get. It's something that is scarce and something that is very limited. And if we don't really consider that in our daily life, in our uh, economic activities, then in the near future, we can lose something that we cannot substitute with anything. So the most message is that people, they have to be very careful and very serious and also involve others from the young generation to the decision makers to plan together, to discuss the water issue together and then also how to prevent from pollution, from over exploitation and then and the other very important message actually because there is something uh, junior water price and that's also maybe people they can take it back home actually because nowadays every now and then people they plan for uh, 250 or 230 and the main reason is that the future generation and if you can see that there are like people, uh, young generation from 26 countries. They are pre representing their countries here in the Water Week. And which means that it's very important to involve the future generation rather than talk on behalf of them every time. Then from this interaction with other people, interaction with people from different countries, they can prepare for their future by themselves and become more aware about the water issues. So that's a very important message, yes. And how should the young people be involved? Well, at least on this Water Week, they are involved in... Uh, but except for Water Week, after the week, when they are going home. No, I mean because they are also part of the communities or families. So at least they became aware about how they can use water efficiently, how they can protect water, how can deal with the environment and all the other activities that are related to water. They become more aware actually. So. Okay. So once again what's your name and where are you from? I'm from Sudan and my name is Abdelaziz. Thank you. Thank you very much.